Welcome back to the Georgia Gym Dog Show. Kevin Kopp alongside head coach Jay Clark. Uh, coach, now we're going to take a step backward and look at the first three meets of the season. Georgia opened up with a try meet, getting a road win in Denver, Colorado, then came back home, falling to Utah, and then bouncing right back with a 196-7-5. To that point, the second highest score that any team had had in the nation. Well, you know, Kevin, starting on the road was important for us, and we said we wanted to start with a good, solid meet, you know, something that we didn't do last year in the early part of the season, particularly on the road, and, and to go to Denver and start with a, a mid-195, I thought it was very solid. We could have gone 196 on that night. Uh, we started out on bars a little shaky. In fact, I don't think there was one bar routine that was the actual bar routine that they warmed up, but, but, they, but they, they made it through that, and they, and they knocked it out. And it, the, the thing that encouraged me about that meet and the thing that really made me feel like maybe this team has got a little, little extra grit to them is that as the meet went by, every event got better and better and better, and they finished so much stronger than they started. And that's, that's the mark of a team that, uh, that maybe can do some things. And so I was really encouraged coming out of that meet. Didn't want to overplay it, but it was our first road win, and we didn't get one of those last year and during the dual meet season. So we were excited to get that. Uh, and then to come home and, and kind of get comfortable, particularly given the health of our team, I think was just what the doctor ordered. And, and, uh, and, and again, we've grown in every meet. Every time we've lost somebody, we've gotten better. And, and, and so I'm just excited about the way they approach that whole situation. Well, Coach, there were nine days between the season opener in Denver and the performance on Monday against West Virginia. And in that time, Georgia goes from being very shaky on bars, as you mentioned, Denver, to putting up a 49-4-5 as a team in bars in West Virginia. So we're going to take a look at all the highlights from the non-conference action at Denver, home against Utah, and home against West Virginia. Here we are in Denver, getting started on the bars. This was the bar routine of the night, although it wasn't the correct bar routine. Gina covers it. She has a giant full to a good ginger there. She felt like she was in a little bit, so she kipped out of it instead of doing an overshoot and then does a, a bail to handstand, which she had not done. We don't even train that. And then she goes uphill, covers it well, does one giant, a half in, half out. It's a good solid landing, gets us to 9, 8, 7, 5, and really kind of saves the day for us because we had the first meet jitters for sure on that event. This is the routine of the night in my mind. Uh, Shayla Worley on balance beam and has done so in every meet that we've had so far. But again, this is out in Denver. Shayla gets it started with the Onodi. Twiddle to the sheep jump, executed exceptionally well. And this was the best beam set in my mind done uh, for any team in this meet that night after going back and looking at the video. Flip-flop layout, solid, great series. She moves through the beam. Gina Nuccio, Arabian double front. And if for those, you see the back brace she's wearing. She's got a herniated disc and did not train for a month leading up to the week before this meet. And we didn't really know if we could do anything, but Gina is a warrior from a mental standpoint and has shown the ability to be able to go out there and hit when she has to. And when you talk to her club coach, Dan Miller, you see a beautiful double pike there. He'll tell you that she's that kind of athlete. This is Lindsey Cheek's first routine. Right out of the gate, she does a Yurchenko full, gets us a great score at Denver. We come out with a win. We come home to our crowd, and it's an exciting night for everybody. And here's Lindsey Cheek with the first of two stuck vaults here at home. Boom, there's a 9-9 to get us started right out of the gate. And suddenly you can feel things settle down, and this team's realizing that, that they can compete with some of the top teams in the country, and they're feeling good about it. We finished up the night with this routine right here from Cassidy McComb. Big double pike. And again, you see the dance that she just performs better than anybody. And you can tell at the end of the meet, we're a little disappointed because the rest of the floor lineup did not do a great job. So we come back in there Monday and we're looking for vengeance a little bit. And, and Krista Tonella right here gets us some momentum going. You'll see this bar routine. This is the West Virginia meet. She does a Higgins. It's to an eagle grip before that Jaeger. Nice Jaeger, good handstand there. Overshoot to handstand, dead on top, but a little bit of leg separation. Not too big of a deduction. Good handstand there on top. Giant full, and here's the exclamation point. Boom. That's like having dinner and then having a good dessert. Great dismount, and she knocks it out for us. And then Gina right here, probably the bar routine of the night. Huge ginger. Overshoot. This is the correct routine that we train every day, but it's nice to know she can cover it when she needs to. And then one giant launches that half and half out and drops right out of it, sticks to landing, and we get, we're getting some scores there. 
And those are the kinds of landings that can win a championship for you down the line. You've got to keep those, hold on to those tenths on those landings. And this being Cat Ding's first routine back on the bars. Giant full to Kachev. Moves through this routine very well. Good pack salto here. Pirouette a little bit crooked, not too, too bad though. She's been working very hard at doing that right on top. Great kip cast handstand here. And again, another exclamation point right here with a double layout that she plants. And it's just great. It's a great way for us to continue our momentum in this meet. And you can tell this team is on a mission. They were disappointed with how they finished in Utah. And they want to finish with an exclamation point. And Noel Couch does it right here. Piked full in. Want to get those legs a little bit more together on that piked full in. Comes right back here with a front through to double tuck. To the front step out. To a double tuck to a stuck landing. Those kinds of things right there will get it going for you, people. And then Cassidy finishing off our floor routine, our floor rotation. You see that triple toe turn that she's gotten so consistent with over the years. You don't see very many of those around the country. And she finishes off with her last pass right here. And just kind of dots the exclamation point in the, in the West Virginia meet to get us that 196.725. And a great home score. And the final routine that we have going up is Hillary Morrow. And Hillary's got a new first pass that's about two weeks old. Uh, as a result of that Achilles tendon bothering her, we didn't want to do the Arabian double front anymore, so we're doing a double front, and she's gotten it going so quickly. And uh, you see how oppressive that really is. That's a crowd favorite skill because. That's a tough skill uh, to do, particularly when you hadn't done it in about six years. So, And then Hillary finishes up with a double pike last pass and really just sort of finishes up the, a great night for us against West Virginia. And we really feel like we righted the ship. And we've improved in every meet to this point, and that's, that's the resiliency and the toughness that we're talking about that a team needs to have. The Jim Dog Show will be right back after these messages. Welcome back to the Georgia Gym Dog Show. In this week's feature, we had the chance to catch up with sophomore all-arounder Noelle Couch, who talked to us about what goes on behind the scenes as she prepares to compete at Stegman Coliseum. team shows up to the Coliseum before the meet and everybody's fired up and ready to go. There's a lot of enthusiasm and we all start getting ready, everything from hair to makeup to leotards. And for me, I always have Cassidy do my hair and she always does a fabulous job and Shayla does my makeup and so I'm guaranteed to look good for the meet. <laughs> everybody's always in a great mood. It's like you're really excited to go out there, but at the same time there's like a calm confidence and a lot of focused energy going into each other and what we're about to go out there to do. Jay is obviously a huge part of what we do. He always has a really pump up speech before we go out there to compete in our team meeting and he's always really enthusiastic and you can just feel the passion behind his voice and what he has to say and it really gets us going right before we go out there to compete. Well, from our gym, we walk over to the Coliseum and the first thing we do is a whole bunch of cheers as we're walking down. And then right before they call us out to walk into the Coliseum, we all get in a huddle and put our arms around each other. And we just tell each other that this is what we do every day. This is what we love to do. This is what we do best. And we're gonna go out there 
and stand by each other with everything that we're doing and go have fun and show it all off. The first time you walk in is different than when we walk in and it's filled and we're going out there to compete because the lights are out and they have our walkout video playing and there's music and fireworks and if that doesn't get you going, nothing will. Oh my gosh, it is the best feeling to hear my name and go out there and wave to all the fans. And knowing that the time is finally here, we're going out there to compete and I've got all my teammates around me, my coaches, and just a wonderful feeling to know that we have so many wonderful supporters out there. The amazing gym dog race starts now. Well, when I stand at the end of that runway and it's just me down there and I present to the judge, I block everything else out. It's just me in that vault and I know what I have to do and I'm focused on what I'm doing right now and I just go out there and do what I've been doing and practice every day and I'm confident and calm about what I'm about to do. Oh, it's such an amazing feeling. I mean, I feel like I block everything out until I present to that judge and I'm done, but then after that, I hear all the fans yelling and screaming and my teammates around me and everybody's really up and excited and it's just a wonderful feeling to know that all these people are here for us and that we're doing what we love and they love watching us do it. When I watch my teammates out there competing, I feel like I'm doing the routines with them. We are all so close in such a tight-knit group that everything every person does, it's like the whole team is doing it with them. Whether we have an awesome person go up and do a routine and it's really big and they get a high score, or if someone gets up there and you know has an okay routine but maybe doesn't get that big score that we're looking for, we can't let that affect us physically or mentally. We can't look at this score and say, oh, you know, she should have gotten it higher, or you know, that was really great, we're all excited and going crazy. We have to be able to remain calm and on a steady line throughout the entire meet, and that will continue to keep us consistent in what we're doing physically and emotionally. Oh, it means so much to us. It's always a wonderful thing to go out there and know that you know, we just hit an awesome meet, and that's the feeling we want at the end of the meet, knowing that we left it all out on the floor and we did all that we could to perform to our best, and having all our fans there being just as excited for us is just, you can't ask for anything more. Yurchenko layout, pull, sticks the landing, and what a start that is for the gym dogs here at home. Noel delighted about that. Welcome back to the Georgia Gym Dog Show. Coach, if nothing else, time for the team to breathe after three home meets in seven days, but it doesn't get any easier. The next two meets are on the road in SEC territory, first Lexington and then Fayetteville. And we usually, you know, those are tough places to go. And uh, so we're going to we're gonna get a little bit of a normal training week from a schedule standpoint. I don't know what that means in terms of the training numbers because we've got to have our docs evaluate the health of everybody before we can make that decision. But the nice part is we get Saturday and Sunday off now. And, and we can and we can get ready, kind of back and get back into a normal kind of training session. And we're going to get more healthy, and that's that's the positive thing. So as we go, things are going to get better. I don't know what that means for Kentucky, uh, you know, me just yet. But uh, but I'm excited about the start we've got, and now it's time to go on the road and keep growing as a team. George will be on the road in Lexington Friday. That's tomorrow night at 7 o'clock p.m. You can follow along with the Gym Dogs live audio coverage on georgiadogs.com, and we will have a complete recap of that meet next week, same time on the Georgia Gym Dog Show. For head coach Jay Clark, I'm Kevin Cott. Thank you so much for watching, and good night. The Gym Dog Show is brought to you by Gem City Steel. Gem City Steel serving the steel needs of the Southeast since 1978. The 10 -0 Booster Club. The 10 -0 Booster Club is the official booster club of the Georgia Gym Dogs. Alpha Helicopters. Alpha Helicopters serving Atlanta skies for over 25 years. The Other Printer. The Other Printer. So many projects, so little time. And by Athens Orthopedic Clinic. Athens Orthopedic Clinic serving Georgia athletes for over 40 years.